Hello and welcome to Megzone. Uh, today we shall be starting with some very important problems in theory of machines and our attention will be mainly towards some topics like gears, cams and degree of freedom for mechanics. And we shall be solving around 14 important problems where we shall be covering these topics very uh, in a very brief manner. Very very important problems will be discussed in this lecture. So before starting this lecture, I would simply like to request you that if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, kindly do so by hitting the subscription button and also press the bell icon so that all the important updates are sent to you as early as possible. And uh, 14 problems will be solved in this lecture, which will be mainly from the chapters of gear, cams, degree of freedom and mechanism. So let's get started with the first problem of the day. And we have been given in a simple four bar linkage as shown, if the link BC is fixed, then the mechanism will be. So our first step is to check whether it will satisfy the rule of S plus L is less than or equals to P plus Q or not. Now S is the smallest side, which is three plus largest side, which is six. This should be less than or equals to the sum of the remaining two sides, that is five plus so 9 is less than or equals to 9. So this is satisfied. Now once this rule is satisfied, option number 4 will be eradicated. Option number 4 is not there. Because this is saying it will not form a mechanism when it will not form a mechanism. Now we check if double crank mechanism will crank rocker mechanism will or double rocker mechanism will Now we have fixed link BC. Ko fix kiya gaya hai. Link BC is what? ये वाला सबसे largest link को हमने fix कर दिया अगर हमने सबसे largest link को fix कर दिया तो इसके जो ये वाली opposite link है AD it will become a coupler ये हमारी coupler link बन जाएगी और क्योंकि AD हमारी सबसे shortest link है और shortest link को ही अगर हमने coupler बना दिया तो it becomes a double rocker mechanism this we have already discussed in the theory of machines lecture also so answer is double rocker mechanism Okay, next question. Okay, in this question we have been given. Okay, now in this question we have been given a crank and slotted lever quick return motion mechanism. The length of the various links O1, O2, O1C and O2C have been given 10, 20 and 5 centimeter respectively. Now we need to find out the quick return ratio. Now in order to find out the quick return ratio, let us first try to draw the simplified diagram and that we have already discussed in the lectures also okay so in this particular position this angle will be 90 degree and let us say that these two angles are beta by 2 beta by 2 okay so this entire angle is alpha entire angle is alpha and the quick return ratio is nothing but it is alpha upon beta. So in this particular diagram, we can um, label it this point as O2, this point will be O1, okay, and this point will be C. So O1, O2 has been given as 10 and O1, C, uh, just a second, O1, O2 has been given as 10 and O2, C, O2, C has been given as 5 centimeter. Now in this particular triangle, let us say O2, O1, C in the triangle O2, O1, C, we have to apply the cos beta by 2 if we wish to find out. So it is coming out to be 5 upon 10. Okay, so 5 upon 10 means 1 by 2. So cos beta by 2, cos half actually it is 60 degrees. Okay, so beta by 2 is 60 degree if we take cos inverse half it is 60 degree then beta would come out to be 120 degree now it is a very simplified problem when beta becomes 120 degrees alpha would be simply 360 minus 120 degree that is 240 degrees okay now for this uh, alpha value and beta value if you have obtained quick return ratio is going to be alpha upon beta that is 240 divided by 120 and the answer is 2. So the answer for this is 2. Okay. Now next question. 
in this question uh, we have been given consider a four bar mechanism as shown in the given figure the driving link da that is this link is rotating at a uniform speed of 100 rpm clockwise the velocity of a will be now this is a very very direct question the velocity v is simply r into omega now r is 30 centimeter so we will convert either centimeter into meter 36 upon 100 this becomes meter and n has been given and omega we know that it is 2 pi n upon 60 so it would be 2 pi n upon 60 okay so when you solve it the answer is coming out to be 3.14 meter per second मतलब ये almost आ रहा है pi meter per second के बराबर, ठीक है? So this is the answer to this question. It is a very simple question. Just have to apply the formula v is equals to r omega. However, very such uh, simple questions can also be asked in either of the examinations like SSC, JE also. So we need to have a very uh, focused mind to solve such type of questions. And these questions are very very scoring and they will be solved within seconds. Now in this question we have to find out the degree of freedom of this mechanism. Now for this mechanism that we have, we will find out the degree of freedom. Now let us first label the number of links. All this ground link will be labeled as 1, okay. This link is 2, this entire shaded link is 3, this link is 4, this is 5, this is link number 6, link number 7 and there is one link which is connecting link 7 and link six so total number of links are uh, eight okay so total number of links become eight now i will mark the binary joints with the red dots there is one binary joint here one binary joint here one binary joint here one joint here one is here here one joint here one joint and we have two binary joints at this slider pair this we have already explained in our lectures so let us count the total number of lower pairs or the binary joints 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, one second. But if you carefully observed at point number uh, this point, there are actually three links that is link number 7, link number 6 and link number 1. So it is a ternary joint and one ternary joint is actually equal to 2, uh, one, uh, sorry, 1, 2, 3, uh, so three links यहाँ पर हैं और एक extra और binary joint हो जाता है यहाँ पर जो slider pair होता है वहाँ पर एक slider pair का joint हो गया और whereas एक ternary की वजह से joint हो गया तो total number of binary joints यहाँ पर जो sliding component की वजह से हो जाएंगे वो हो जाएंगे हमारे three so total number of binary joints हो गए one two three four five six seven eight nine ten तो यहाँ पर हमारा number of binary joints या lower pairs हो गए ten तो यहां पर ये काफी इंपॉर्टेंट बात हो जाती है नोट करने के लिए कि यहां पर नंबर ऑफ लोअर पेयर्स आर 3 क्योंकि यहां पर यहां एक तो दो लिंक्स अटैच हो गई ऊपर से एक स्लाइडर भी आ गया तो स्लाइडर वाला एक कंडीशन हम लोगों ने अपने लेक्चर्स में ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन किया हुआ है आप लोग चाहे तो वहां से रेफरेंस भी ले सकते हैं सो नंबर ऑफ लोअर पेयर्स बिकम 10 वी नो दैट देयर इज नो हायर पेयर एंड देयर इज नो रिडंडेंट डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम सो डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम फार्मूला दैट इज 3 l 1 minus 2j minus h so 3 into number of links are 8 minus 1 minus 2 into 10 so this is coming out to be 3 sevens are 21 minus 20 so degree of freedom is coming out to be 1 so this mechanism has a degree of freedom equals to 1 okay now let us go for the next question and in this question we have a question of planetary gear system so an epicyclic gear contains uh, consists of an arm and two gears A and B having 40 and 60 teeth. So teeth of A is 40, teeth of B is equals to 60. The arm rotates about the center of the gear A at a speed of 100 uh, rpm counterclockwise. The speed of the uh, gear B when the gear A is fixed. Now we speed nikalni hai gear B ki जब गियर ए फिक्स होगा, so for such type of problems what we do is we 
prepare a table okay in this we will write the parameters of arm then gear a and then gear b now gear a and b are in external meshing so if we are taking clockwise to be positive so anti clockwise will be taken with the negative sign so here it has been given a is rotating at an anti clockwise sense okay so let us write that n of a would be equals to minus 100 rpm since it is counter clockwise okay now the number of teeth here are 40 here are 60 teeth okay so now let us write down the conditions of motion for the gears for arm a let us take it as fix and we give a plus x rotation in the clockwise direction to a then for b it is minus 40 upon 60 into x why minus because agar isko humne plus ghumaya hai to kyunki external gearing mein hai to ye bhi hamara anti clockwise ghumega theek hai now arm ko humne kya kiya plus y rotation matlab ab sab jagah plus y kar denge to yahan x plus y yahan jayega y minus 40x upon 60 now ab agar hum dekhe to we have been told that x plus y that is ye jo hai n a it is minus 100 rpm to yahan se x plus y jo hai wo minus 100 ho jayega theek hai lekin aapko kya bola gaya hai the arm rotates about the center of the a, gear a sorry x plus y nahi hoga kyunki arm rotate kar rahi hai to n a bhi nahi hoga n of the arm ho jayega ye theek hai whereas a to hamara fixed hai when uh, the speed of the gear b when the gear a is fixed to matlab agar a fix ho gaya तो x plus y हमारा 0 हो जाएगा अगर x plus y 0 हो गया तो x, x is equals to minus y whereas arm की अगर बात करें तो हमारा है y is equals to minus 100 तो y is equals to minus अगर आप 100 रखते हैं तो x आपका simply क्या आ जाएगा 100 अगर x 100 आ गया y is equals to minus 100 आ गया तो ये value उठाकर हम यहां पर रखेंगे that is minus 100 minus 40 upon 60 into x x that is 100 तो जब हम ये solve करेंगे तो हमारा answer आ रहा है 166.66 rpm तो b का rotation जो हो जाएगा 166.66 rpm clockwise हो जाएगा so हमने यहाँ पर क्या किया we simply have to prepare a table जिसमें आम गियर ए गियर बी की कंडीशन लिखेंगे नंबर ऑफ टीथ्स के रेशियोस को यूज करके हम लोग ये वैल्यूज यहां पर लिखेंगे फिर आम को प्लस वाई रोटेट करेंगे तो हर जगह प्लस वाई प्लस वाई कर दिया अब क्योंकि कह रहा है आम एंटी क्लॉकवाइज रोटेट कर रही है 100 पे तो हमने एंटी क्लॉकवाइज रोटेशन ऑफ द आम दैट इज वाई इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस 100 आरपीएम ले लिया फिर हमने कहा ए फिक्स्ड है तो मतलब एक्स प्लस वाई वुड बी 0 क्योंकि इसका आरपीएम हो गया 0 क्योंकि ये फिक्स्ड है उसके बाद हमें b के लिए rpm में वैल्यूएट करना है तो यहां और यहां से हमने x और y की वैल्यूज इवैल्यूएट करी जिसको पुट करके हमने b की rpm का वैल्यू निकाल लिया एंड इट इज कमिंग आउट टू बी 166.66 rpm ओके नाउ लेट अस अटेम्प्ट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन आल्सो वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द गियर सिस्टम्स प्लैनेटरी गियर सिस्टम now in this we have been given an epicyclic gear train is shown in the figure below the number of teeth on the gear a and b so let us write down teeth on a is given as 80 teeth on b is given as 200 the speed of uh, the arm a if gear a rotates at 100 rpm clockwise so n of a has been given as 100 rpm and it will since it is clockwise so we will take it as positive it actually depends upon your convention whatever you are taking it's not a bound that you have to take uh, clockwise as positive only or anti-clockwise as negative so we have to here find out the n of arm okay and the gear b is stationary for uh, that means n of b is equals to 0 rpm because it is stationary now here also we will prepare a table arm a then we have C, then we have B. Now before uh, making this table, we must be sure 
that we have the number of teeth for all these individual gears also. Now teeth of A have been given, teeth of B have been given, teeth of C are not given. So we will find out radius of A plus 2 times radius of C it is equals to the radius of B or teeth of A plus 2 times teeth of C it is equal to teeth of B. This is simply the uh, formula that we have already discussed in our lectures. R can be replaced with number of teeth or because this ye, ye distance plus ye pura wala distance this would be equal to the radius of this external B. Okay, B is a gear that is used for it. And if you look at this very carefully, C with B is internal meshing. Ho rahi hai. It has internal meshing. Now the method to identify whether it is internal meshing or external meshing is that gear C ka center dekhiye aur gear B ka center dekhiye dono ek hi side par aa rahe hain theek hai to agar dono ke centers ek hi side par aate hain to ye internal meshing hoti hai aur internal meshing ka matlab ye hai ki agar jaisa sense of rotation C ka hoga waisa hi sense of rotation B ka hoga matlab agar aapne A ko clockwise ghumaya hoga to kyunki A aur C external meshing mein hai to C ghumega anti clockwise और अगर C एंटी क्लॉकवाइज घूमेगा तो B भी हमारा एंटी क्लॉकवाइज घूमेगा सो so, ये हो गया 80 ये हो गया 200 और यहां से नंबर ऑफ टीथ्स अगर आप C के लिए निकालें तो इट इज कमिंग आउट टू बी 60 D के लिए भी सेम चीज आएगा D के लिए भी नंबर ऑफ टीथ्स 60 ही आएंगे क्योंकि आप डायरेक्टली यही इसी रिलेशन से भी वेरीफाई कर सकते हैं ओके okay? आम को मान लीजिए हमने जीरो रखा इसको हमने प्लस एक्स रोटेशन दिया तो इसका आ जाएगा minus 80 upon 60 x और अगर ये minus में आ रहा है तो क्योंकि C और B दोनों internal meshing में है तो यहाँ भी हम लिखेंगे minus 80 upon 200 into x क्योंकि B के gear नीचे आएंगे A के gear ऊपर आएंगे अब मान लीजिए इसको हमने plus y दिया तो यहाँ x plus y हो जाएगा हो जाएगा y minus 80 x upon 60 और यहां आ जाएगा y 80x upon 200 ओके नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू द गिवन कंडीशन हमें b को दिया हुआ है कि b है इज फिक्स्ड दैट मींस y is equals to 80x upon 200 एंड रोटेशन ऑफ a दैट इज x plus y इट हैज बीन गिवन एज 100 rpm सो दिस एंड दिस वी हैव two linear equations and we will solve them simultaneously और जब हम इन्हें solve करेंगे तो जो हमारे y की value आ रही है वो आ रही है 28.6 rpm और हमें निकालना भी rpm of the arm था तो मतलब y की ही value निकालनी थी तो ये हमारी आगे 28.6 rpm ठीक है तो ये simple है बहुत simple तरीका होता है table को form करके उसके बाद हम सारी values को compare करेंगे क्या हमें दिया हुआ है कौन सा स्टेशनरी है कौन सा क्लॉकवाइज घूम रहा है कौन सा एंटी क्लॉकवाइज घूम रहा है सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज 28.6 rpm नाउ लेट अस गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यस इन दिस क्वेश्चन दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द एक्सेलरेशन एनालिसिस अ लिंक ओए इज रोटेटिंग एट एन एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ 4 रेडियन पर सेकंड इन द काउंटर क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन एट द इंस्टेंट शोन इन द फिगर and a block is sliding radially inwards in it with a uniform velocity of 9 meter per second with respect to OA. OB has been given as uh, 4 meter and the angular acceleration of the link OA is 9 radians per second square in the counterclockwise direction. The magnitude of the absolute acceleration. Now here we will have different accelerations involved but we need to find out the resultant acceleration. So the first one that is the अगर देखें हम तो absolute acceleration of B will be actually a vector addition of centripetal acceleration centripetal acceleration and tangential acceleration and uh, sorry along with that we also have the Coriolis Coriolis component of acceleration because we have a body which is sliding on a body which is rotating. एक ऐसी body एक ऐसी body पर slide कर रही है जो कि already rotate कर रही है तो we will have three components of acceleration. Okay, now the centripetal acceleration would be AC that is omega square r 
and this will uh, be directed towards the center because it is a centripetal acceleration. So omega square r, omega is actually given as 4 radians per second. So omega square, sorry, 4 square into r has been given as 4. So this becomes 64 meters per second square. Now the next that is a tangential, tangential acceleration is r into alpha, r has been given as 4, alpha has been given as 9, so this becomes 36 meters per second square, okay. And the Coriolis component of acceleration, Coriolis acceleration would be equals to 2 into v sliding into omega, so 2 into v sliding the sliding velocity has been given as 9 and omega has been given as 4. So, this is 72 meters per second square, okay. Now, we have three accelerations. One is in this direction that is AC, okay. And one would be in this direction that is uh, Coriolis component of acceleration because what we do is we take the sense of the rotation of omega and we uh, change the direction by 90 degree in order to obtain the Coriolis component of acceleration and tangential acceleration AT is also in this direction. Now what we will do is we will find out the resultant of Coriolis and AT, okay, okay. So now the resultant of this Coriolis component and the tangential component would be uh, 72 minus 30. 6 that is 36 meters per second square. So, we have one acceleration component that is AC in this direction that is 64 meters per second square and one component is in this direction we have 36 meters per second square. So, resultant would be under root of 64 square plus 36 square and this is coming out to be 73 point 4, 3 meters per second square. So, this is the answer, okay. Now, let us go for the next question and this question is actually a question which is based on direct formula. So, a two start worm rotating at 800 rpm drives a 26 tooth worm gear. The worm has a pitch diameter of 54 mm and a pitch of 18 mm. If the coefficient of friction mu is 0.06, then the angle of worm is. Now, here in this question, we will directly apply a formula and we wish to and we will find out the angle of worm gear, okay. So, we know that tan of lambda 1, this is equals to lead upon pitch circumference, lead upon pitch circumference and lead is equals to 2p or pitch circumference hota hai pi into d1. So, 2 into p is the pitch which is 18 upon pi into d1 has been given as that is the worm has a pitch diameter of 54. So, yahaan se joh humara tan lambda 1 ki value aa rahi hai. So, tan lambda 1 this is equals to 0 0.212. So, lambda 1 is coming out to be 11.98 degrees. So, the correct answer for this question is 11.98 degrees. Now, we will uh, attempt the next question and in this question, just a second, yes. This question is also uh, from the same pattern that is of gears. We have an in two involute gears are in mesh having a velocity ratio of 3. The arc of approach is not to be less than the circular pitch when the pinion is the driver. The pressure angle of the involute teeth is 20 degree, the least number of teeth on each gear is. Now, in order to find out the least number of teeth, we will first write down the data which has been given as phi is 20 degree, velocity ratio has been given as 3. Now, we have arc of approach is equals to the circular pitch, this is nothing but pi into m and path of approach this would be equals to pi m cos 20 degree. So, this is coming out to be 2.952 degrees, 
meters now the minimum length of the path of approach is small r sin phi and the minimum length of the park path of uh, recess would be capital r sin phi so small r can be written as small mt by 2 sin phi so this is nothing but 0 0.171 mt so 0 0.171 mt this is equals to 2.952 because we have been given the arc of approach is not to be less than the circular pitch ठीक है तो arc of approach क्या होता है path of approach upon cos phi वाला मतलब हम लोग ने क्या लगा लिया वही वाला formula लगा लिया कि arc of approach is equal to path of approach upon cos phi तो path of approach निकालने के लिए arc of approach multiplied by cos phi कर दिया था तो यहाँ से हमारा जो आ गया small t की वैल्यू आ गई 17.26 which is nearly equals to 18 और क्योंकि gear ratio दिया हुआ है तो capital T that is the number of teeth on the bigger wheel would be equals to 18 into 3 that is 54 so 18 and 54 is the correct answer for this question okay now let us go for the next question and it says a cam that is designed so this is a question of the cam a cam that is designed for cycloidal motion drives a flat faced follower during the rise the follower displaces 1 centimeter for 180 degree of the cam rotation if the cam angular velocity uh, has if the just a second if the cam angular velocity is constant at 100 rpm the displacement of the follower at the cam angle of 60 degree is asked now we know that equation for the cycloidal motion that is y is equals to capital L theta upon beta minus 1 upon 2 pi sin 2 pi theta upon beta okay now L which is given as 1 centimeter that is the dis follower displacement 1 centimeter beta has been given as 180 degree which is equals to pi and theta is which is 60 degree so it is pi by 3 so y would be simply 10 okay yoga just a second sorry not 10 it should be 1 1 into theta upon beta so it would be pi by 3 pi minus 1 upon 2 pi sine 2 pi by 3 okay now this would be 1 into pi upon 3 pi is 1 by 3 minus 1 upon 2 pi into 0 0.866 so this is coming out to be so here I am 0 0.195 centimeter so this is also a question which is directly formula based we have to just remember the formula L into theta by beta minus 1 upon 2 pi sin 2 pi theta upon beta. So, yaha se our answer aagya 0.195 centimeter. Now, let us do the next question which has been given. Okay. So, in this question, we have been, just let me check, I have not skipped any questions, I hope. Yes, I have not skipped any. So, the link OB is rotating with a constant angular velocity of 2 radians per second in the counterclockwise direction and a block is sliding outward on it with a uniform velocity of 0.75 meter per second with respect to the rod as shown. The magnitude of the absolute acceleration, now again we have to find out the magnitude of the absolute acceleration. So, we will see that acceleration of the block would be nothing but a centripetal plus Coriolis component of acceleration okay there would be uh, no tangential uh, acceleration because omega has been given as constant so the Coriolis component of acceleration hai, that is 2 v omega plus jo, uh, centripetal hai, wo hai omega square r so 2 into v is the sliding velocity 0 0.75 omega has been given as 2 plus omega square r omega square r would be 5 sorry 4 so ye 2 v omega hamara kitta ho gaya ye to hamara total acceleration ho jayega 
टोटल एक्सेलरेशन ये होगा लेकिन हमें टोटल नहीं निकालना हमें रिजल्टेंट निकालना है तो रिजल्टेंट वुड बी अंडर रूट ऑफ ए सेंट्रीपिटल का स्क्वायर प्लस कोरियोलिस कंपोनेंट का स्क्वायर तो ये जो आ रहा है हमारा सेंट्रीपिटल एक्सेलरेशन इज कमिंग आउट टू बी थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस और कोरियोलिस कंपोनेंट सॉरी दिस इज द कोरियोलिस कंपोनेंट एंड दिस इज द सेंट्रीपिटल तो सेंट्रीपिटल है फोर तो उसका स्क्वायर सो अंडर रूट ऑफ थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस फोर स्क्वायर वुड बी नथिंग बट फाइव मीटर्स पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर ये भी बहुत सिंपल सा क्वेश्चन है ओके नाउ लेट इज अटेम्प्ट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव एंड अगेन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम ऑफ अ गिवन मैकेनिज्म इन दिस क्वेश्चन ओके सो फर्स्ट लेट मी मार्क द नंबर ऑफ लिंक्स दिस ग्राउंड लिंक विल बी लेबल्ड एज वन सो आई एम लेबलिंग दिस एज वन दिस इज लिंक नंबर टू थ्री फोर दिस एंटायर शेडेड लिंक वुड बी फाइव दिस सिक्स दिस एंटायर लिंक वुड बी सेवन ओके then this would be 8 this link 9 10 11 12 okay so the total number of links l here is 12 now i will mark the number of binary joints with red dot one binary joint is between the link 1 and 2 then ek yahan par ho gaya ek ye ho gaya now agar yahan ki baat kare to 1 और थ्री तो ये थ्री ये थ्री लिंक्स हैं लिंक नंबर फोर लिंक नंबर सिक्स एंड लिंक नंबर फाइव तो वन टर्नरी इज इक्वेलेंट टू टू बाइनरी ठीक है तो यहां दो जॉइंट हो गए यहां वन जॉइंट हो गया यहां वन जॉइंट हो गया ये भी वन ही जॉइंट है क्योंकि दिस इज द कनेक्शन बिटवीन द लिंक सिक्स एंड सेवन ये वन जॉइंट हो गया ये हो गया ये हो गया एक ज्वाइंट यहां हो गया और एक यहां पर भी ज्वाइंट हो गया एक ये ज्वाइंट हो गया तो टोटल नंबर ऑफ अगर बाइनरी जॉइंट या नंबर ऑफ लोअर पेयर अगर आप यहां देखें तो इट इज कमिंग आउट टू बी ट्वेल्व हायर पेयर है यहां पर जीरो सो द डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम थ्री इन टू एल माइनस वन माइनस टू जे माइनस एच अगर आपको यहां से निकालना हो सो दिस इज कमिंग आउट टू बी थ्री इन टू ट्वेल्व माइनस वन माइनस टू इन टू ट्वेल्व सो ये आ गया आपका थ्री सो द डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम फॉर दिस मैकेनिज्म इज थ्री ओके now let us attempt the next question that we have and this question is also from the gear chapter so the figure shows an epicyclic gear with gear a and b having 40 and 50 teeth so teeth of a is 40 teeth of b is 50 if the arm c rotates at 200 rpm in the anti clockwise direction that means uh, n of c has been given as minus 200 rp m in the anti clockwise direction about the center of the gear a which is fixed n of a this is equals to 0 because it has been fixed then the speed of the revolution of the gear b would be to yahan par gear b ka revolutionary speed hame find out karna hai to again hum log apna table bana lenge aur table mein sabse pehle aayega arm uske baad aayega gear a uske baad aayega gear b gear a mein number of teeth have been given as 40 यहां पर दिए हुए हैं 50 मान लीजिए इसको फिक्स रखा इसको प्लस एक्स दिया तो जाएगा माइनस फोर्टी अपॉन फिफ्टी एक्स इसको वाई दिया तो यह जाएगा एक्स प्लस वाई हो जाएगा वाई माइनस फोर्टी अपॉन फिफ्टी एक्स ठीक है तो यहां से अगर हम देखें तो एन ऑफ द सी हैज बिन गिवन एज माइनस टू हंड्रेड दैट मीन्स आम जो हमारा दिया हुआ है जस्ट ए सेकेंड हाँ आम जो हमारा दिया हुआ है यहां पर मान लीजिए एंटी क्लॉक को हमने मान लिया पॉजिटिव और क्लॉक को हमने मान लेंगे नेगेटिव वो कन्वेंशन आपके ऊपर है आप कुछ भी ले सकते हैं तो आम का ये हो जाएगा हम ये पॉजिटिव ले लेंगे ठीक है सो y इज 200 और अगर y 200 हो गया और a आपका फिक्स हो जाएगा तो x क्या हो जाएगा x हो जाएगा माइनस टू तो x की वैल्यू और y की वैल्यू को हम पुट कर देंगे यहां b वाली इक्वेशन में तो हमारा n ऑफ द b हमारा आ जाएगा 360 सिक्सटी आर पी एम तो दंसर इज कमिंग आउट टू बी थ्री सिक्सटी आर पी एम फॉर बी ओके सो दंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी आर पी एम नाउ लेट इज मूव ऑन एंड डू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर एंड 
we have been given for the figure configuration of the slider crank mechanism as shown the speed of the slider in meters per second would be now in order to find out the speed of the slider we will first have to find out certain things and let us try to find out first the angle theta that means if we join this this is angle theta so let us try to find out the angle theta and name it as a let it it b and this is c so by applying the pythagoras theorem ac can be calculated as under root of ab square plus bc square so it would be under root 50 square plus 200 square so this would be 206.15528 meter okay so tan theta would be 14.036 sorry tan theta would be 50 upon 200 so from here theta is coming out to be 14.0362 okay so theta hamara aa raha hai 14.0362 okay so theta is coming out to be 14.0362 degrees now let us consider this as link number 1 this as link number 2 this as link number 3 and the slider would be link number 4 so let us try to mark all the instantaneous centers of rotation this would be this center would be i12 this center would be i23 okay here we have i34 and at infinity at infinity we have i14 okay so if we wish to find out the location of i24 we need to extend this line okay and this line also so the point where they will intersect would be the location of i24 theek hai ye ho jayega hamara i24 now what we will do is we know that tan theta and let this point is d so tan theta is ad upon ac so from here ad would be equals to ac tan theta and this this is coming out to be 51.53 millimeters so now by applying the kennedy's theorem we have omega 4 i14 i24 this is equals to omega 2 i12 i24 so by using kennedy's theorem the velocity that we will be obtaining for the slider it would be 10 multiplied by 51.53 so this is coming out to be uh 315.3882 mm per second okay this is coming out to be mm oh we are so sorry actually here uh, here it is uh, 10 multiplied by 51.53 so the uh, it is 515.3882 mm per second or it is coming out to be uh, 0.515 meters per second so v is equals to r into omega so this is r and omega has been given as 10 now we have one more method to solve this question and let us discuss that uh, method also so we will now do this question uh, by the method of uh, relative velocity approach okay so now we will discuss uh, one more approach to solve this particular problem so what we will do is we will simply extend this line and this line also so this point becomes d such that this point is a this is p this is c and we have already calculated ac the value of ac is coming out to be 206.155 meters now vab that means the velocity of a with respect to b would be simply r into 
omega that is coming out to be 50 divided by 1000 which is r and omega is 10. So this is coming out to be 0.5 meters per second okay and alpha of the crank has been given as 0. Now if we look at this diagram this is actually the Klenz construction diagram such that V of AB upon 200 that would be equals to V of CA upon 206.155. So from here VCA is coming out to be 0 0.515 meters per second. So this is also another approach to solve this question. Okay, so with this we come to the end of this particular lecture. I hope that you have gained a lot from this lecture and you will definitely follow our other lectures also. We will be uploading such type of lectures on our channel where we will be solving very important problems on different subjects. Hello and welcome to MakeZone. As you all can see that I am wearing this t-shirt and it's a clear indication that I have been uh, selected as a verified educator on the platform of Unacademy. As you all know that Unacademy is an educational platform which was started by Roman Seni and some other people, uh, other founders, in order to mainly serve the society and provide free of cost education to every hook and corner of the country. Now, it's a good news for you all that now I'll be available on Unacademy along with YouTube. All you have to do is you have to follow me on both the places. Now, uh, you must be thinking what would be a difference between Megzone and Unacademy. Now, uh, for your information, I would simply like to clarify that all the errors that have been there on our channel of Megzone, uh, we have tried to reduce those errors and almost eradicated them and the lectures will be available on Unacademy platform. All you have to do is you simply have to follow me on both, both the places. Uh, and thank you all for sharing those love, uh, sharing the love and the affection that you have shown us on our channel. We would like to see the same enthusiasm and love on the platform of Unacademy also. So our lectures will be available after 15 to 20 days. So you can follow us on both the platforms. So thank you so much.